we're gonna put a Western snow plow, a 8.6B against the Heinecker scoop plow. We're gonna talk about the benefits of each plow. We're gonna talk about the, the negative portions of each plow. That way you can make an informed decision for yourself what plow is gonna work for you. So what you're gonna see is a new Western contractor grade MVP3. And what we have on this side is a Heinecker scoop plow. Now this is an older plow, so you may be going, well, is this a fair comparison? Let me just tell you, this Heinecker scoop plow smokes any other plow we've ever ran. We've ran Boss, we've ran Leo, we have three Western snow plows. For carrying capacity, the Heinecker snow plow is easily the monster plow of everything we have. One of the things I like about this snow plow here in particular, this one has what we call a poly blade. So that's not metal, that's just plastic. That means when you're carrying the plow around, you're not snow plowing, it's light, it's easy, it's agile. This has no moving parts, similar to a straight blade, it's just a dedicated scoop. I was nervous when I first bought it. I thought, well, what is this gonna do? I switched up from a, a Heinecker V plow to this plow and I would never look back again. But let's take a look at this Western MVP3, brand new plow. It's an incredible plow, fast, responsive. There's a lot of things I like about it, but when you're going from something, even a smaller plow like this, with a lower blade height to a bigger plow, it's still a rough adjustment, especially when you're used to carrying large piles of snow. So although the Western looks much bigger than the Heinecker, when it comes for carrying capacity in cubic yards, the Heinecker beats it hands down. But there's more to the story. All right, so one of the things that I want to point out, you've heard me bragging about the carrying capacity of these Western, or these uh, Heinecker plows. Well, let's talk about the negative thing. It's hooking up to these things. Although it's a bomb diggity, once you get it on, it's a bear cap to actually get it hooked up. They have this weird little lever system, and they got a little ear right there. And that ear hooks into the frame, and that's what actually connects the plow to the truck. Now they say you're able to drive right into it, that's not true. It takes two guys and a skid loader to hook one of these snow plows up. In fact, when we get a Heinecker snow plow hooked up to a truck, we put them on November 15th. They do not come off until April 15th. That's how tough they are. But let's look at the Western plow. The reason we're switching everything over to Western plows is we don't want to carry these snow plows around all season long in the front of our trucks. We want to be able to drop them off and hook up to them. The Western plow is by far the easiest plow on the market to hook up to your truck. You've got these giant ears, these giant toggle hook and levers. You come even close to that thing and it's like a magnet. It just goes right onto the truck, hooks up and you're in business. By far, any snow plow I've ever dealt with, the Western is the best to take on and off. The Heinecker scoop plow has the, big, the biggest and best carrying capacity. Both plows have benefits, both of them have drawbacks. Now you know the rest of the story.